Hey, welcome back to the channel. Got a little something for you here. So this is some flight footage of the Run Chem Thumb. If you notice in the top left corner, it says stabilized. So what I've done is I've just taken a bunch of files, uh, a bunch of clips, cut it up, whatever the case may be, and I have stabilized and then I have unstabilized. Um, so you'll notice in the top left corner uh, when those changes happen. Um, I have the audio of the motors for you so that you can kind of hear the oscillations and uh, the, the quadcopter itself does not have a tune to carry this camera rig. Now this is a sub 255 inch uh, all up in the air. So with the camera, the mount, the battery, everything for us, it's like 247.7 grams, I think. Um, so it's pretty susceptible to a, a, you know, a decent weight change in the nose. So I need to do some tuning, but I thought, you know what, this would be kind of kind of a good thing for the uh, gyro flow. So I'm going to let you watch some of this. Now at the end of the video, I have a, a snapshot of that gyro flow footage. I should say the gyro flow um, sc screenshot of my settings, if you will. <laughs> so I am in no means a novice, even at this point. I just took a, a quick crash course in uh, how to use gyro flow. Just playing with the settings, kind of moving things all the way one way, all the other way, and everywhere in between to kind of get a balance of, you know, uh, stabilized, but not so zoomed in. Because if you, if you add more stabilization to the clip, you continually zoom in further. So here's the stabilized, and then here's the unstabilized. And you can see there's more foreground, there's, um, I know that some people do side-by-sides. I, I personally like to see a full screen when it comes to this stuff. So let me know in comments, what do you think? Do you like a side-by-side -side better? Or do you like a full screen uh, with notation? So. Yeah, you can hear the oscillations in the motors uh, due to the the bad tune if you will I plan on doing some tuning to kind of smooth this thing out a bit uh, I really think that that was kind of an attribute that's gonna make this uh, video make more sense um, but I'm curious to wonder the stabilized footage you know like right here we're watching the unstabilized footage for me I, there's no way I could watch it the jitteriness and the kind of the the yaw um, wiggling and stuff it's just it's unwatchable to me i mean the mount that i created and designed uh was really doing a good job as far as no jello but like this stabilized footage here you know is this something that you would want to watch is this something you want to see more on the channel um i think it did a pretty good job i mean we're talking about a 55 dollars camera right i mean still has a pretty good field of view even though the stabilization is zoomed in a bit there's still some twitching going on but not like this so let me know in comments but here at the end uh, check out the screenshot I'm curious to wonder do you have uh, some some interesting things you've done in settings I'd like to know you know let me know in comments all right well here's my settings that I got and uh, Remember, I'm not that skilled at gyro flow at this point in time, so I've done the best I can with what I got. And, um, you know, if this video helped you out or was informative, entertained you, whatever, you know, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. If you hate it, man, you give it a thumbs down. It all works. Enjoy the breeze.